Welcome to chapter 4 of React Quickly. In this screencast, I'll walk you through the rock, paper and scissors example. This is the game that uh, some of you might have played in your childhood, but if you haven't heard about it, don't worry, I'll show you the rules as well. This is a Meteor application, Meteor and React application. I've already did the scaffolding, meaning I've used the command line to create the initial project. I just wanted to show you what structure, what is the folder structure. I have that Meteor folder here. In that folder there is uh, two interesting files. One is packages. Uh, this is the list of all the packages that I've uh, added to this Meteor application. So Meteor, similar to NPM, it has its own uh, packaging system. You can still use NPM modules, but uh, with the Meteor you end up using uh, their packaging system and uh, uh, they have packages. Basically that's uh, the whole idea. And uh, there are two packages that I've added in addition to whatever Meteor was uh, scaffolding for me. One is React, its official React uh, library, official React uh, package for Meteor 0.12. Since 0.12 they support React uh, better than they used to support before they also supported, but you had to use some uh, third-party libraries. You can still use them, there are a lot of other third-party libraries, but I'm using this one, it's just React. And then I'm using TWBS, which is, stands for Twitter, uh, it's the name of uh, this organization for this package, and then uh, Bootstrap. So that's the Bootstrap library. And then in the versions file, you can see the version of this package. I'm using 0.14.3 and it also comes with some other uh, re re libraries related to React. And the Twitter bootstrap I'm using 3.3.6. So the versions are super important. Please, please, please use the exact same versions I'm using. Otherwise uh, the examples are not guaranteed to work. Another uh, folder, it's called client. All I have here is this file, RSP, which stands for rock, paper, scissors. This is a library that will calculate who won, who lost, based on uh, some algorithm. It's uh, a little bit cryptic, I'm not gonna go into deep details. You can Google, there are a lot of uh, solutions on Stack Overflow and uh, Google will point you there. This is just one of the solutions I found online. So when you execute the Meteor create and uh, your application name command in your command line, this will also create three files for you, .css, .html and .js. So let's start with HTML. Pretty much the only thing you need here is the div with ID content right here. That's where the React components will be rendered. Everything else, it's uh, nice to have. I'm using some Twitter bootstrap classes like container-fluid, row-fluid, and colon medium to, to position our game a little bit better to center it on the screen. But they are optional. So let me repeat it again, you would get that JS file, but I went ahead and renamed it into JSX. And uh, I'm starting this file by uh, creating this array of choices. There are different uh, versions of this game that have four or even five options, so we want this game to be a little bit uh, forward-looking, and uh, if you want to add more options you can do that definitely. Then on line number six, I'm using some uh, Meteor-specific language to define the collection of games. This is how I can access the Mongo database collection in the browser code, and I can persist my games. Speaking of the client, in Meteor we will write both the client or the browser code and the server code in this file. The way we differentiate, we use meteor.isClient property and then all the browser code, the browser JavaScript will go in this file. But the good thing is that the collection could be used in both places. 
So let's start by creating the app component. It will be a smart React component. And what we need to do here, which is uh, Meteor specific, we need to add this mix in React Meteor data. That will get, uh, give us the access to the MongoDB collection and make it uh, accessible to us in the component. We can also have get initial state in addition to the Meteor data. But now the answer is empty. That's our answer, the human answer of the game. And that get meteor data, that's the property that Mixin will implement. And uh, the way we uh, implement our collection, it's very similar to the normal React state, but then we're using games.find and we're using .fetch.reverse. So fetch will get the list of the games and reverse will reverse the order. So the latest game will be on top. And uh, then I'm also using meteor.user.id to filter the games. So the last thing in this file, in this JSX file, uh, we're not going to really uh, use it, but it's still good to, to see that it's possible and uh, why Meteor is so good for developing fast. So basically, this is how you can uh, implement server-side code. So you would use if Meteor dot is server, and on the server-side code, our code obviously you can uh, have more power than on the browser side, and this also where you can render React on the server side using the same component, which I'm not going to show you right now, but we will explore in later chapters. So we're done with development for now. I'm in the terminal and I navigated to the rug-paper-scissors folder. And I've started Meteor with Meteor command. As you can see, it says started proxy, started MongoDB, started your app app is running at localhost port 3000. That's uh, very good. There is no errors. Let's go to the browser. Let me hit refresh. In fact, everything looks good. So as you can see, I played a few games already. The one that I lost in red, the one that I won in blue. And uh, surprisingly, actually, my total wins are pretty high. Don't know. I swear I didn't cheat. So let's play it one more time. The rules are that scissors beat the paper, paper beat the rock, and rock beat the scissors. Okay, so let's pick the rock. Okay, so the result, you selected rock, the opponent selected paper. So let's check. Selected rock, selected paper. So I lost. And uh, this is the record, it's in red, I lost. This is sad, so let's play one more time. Play rock again. This time opponent selected scissors, so rock beat scissors, I win. And as you can see, this is in, in blue. The score changed a little bit. So if I refresh, the data is persistent. You can see the games, the number will be the same, 86. So that's how you can use React and Meteor. As I said, they're wonderful together. You can persist the data and get real-time updates. Because as you've seen, the history updated in real-time without any refreshes. And the results, they're also updated in real-time without any page refreshes. So that's it for this video, for this project. I'll see you in the next video.